Hey, what's going on? My name's Al, and today we are just taking a look at the hotbox controls inside of Maya. Now, a lot of people don't even know what this is, but if you've ever been in Maya, we know we can tap spacebar to change to our orthographic views or our perspective. However, if we press and hold spacebar, like so, we've got this crazy menu that pops up, but there is a point in a purpose. It's actually a great purpose for hotbox controls. So press and hold spacebar. And I've got every single thing that really I could need. Um, and to access things, if I hold spacebar, left click on Maya, then I can say, yep, let's go to my front view. And then I let go of left click. Now I'm in my front view. Let's do that again. Hold spacebar, hold left click on Maya, go to my perspective view. So I can quickly change views. But if you're gonna use this, what I would do is if you are modeling, I would hold spacebar, left click and hold on hotbox controls, go to show modeling and then modeling only. What that's gonna do is when you press and hold spacebar, it's cleaned up everything else. So typically students will come over to modeling toolkit and we've got all these great things to use. But if we wanna model a little bit quicker, what we can do is just hold spacebar. I can left click and hold it under mesh and here are all the tools that I could use over here. Edit mesh, there's a lot more things. So if I just left click, it's gonna keep it open for me. There's detach, bridge, bevel, add divisions, pretty much everything you'll find in your modeling toolkit. Hold spacebar again, we have mesh tools. If you're gonna use the hotbox controls, that means we can actually get ourselves more space here. So under workspace, if I go to modeling standard, you'll notice it's got rid of my timeline cause I'm just modeling here and it still has my modeling toolkit. But if you're a little bit more advanced, you can do modeling expert. And that's going to give you this massive window it's hidden all the tools because if I just hold spacebar, I can go find anything that I need to do. For example, hold spacebar, let's go to create, polygon primitives, there's a cube. Let's hold spacebar, let's go to recent commands, it says, oh, create polygon, bam. So I can just do that again really, really quickly. Obviously I can press G because that was the last action that I did. Let's go ahead and combine these three together. So I'm gonna left click and drag to highlight, hold spacebar. Let's do mesh combine. I'm gonna clear my history, Alt Shift D. That's just a hotkey you should know. These are combined. And what I'm gonna do is go in here, grab these faces. Let's kill those because maybe I'm bridging these together for whatever reason. That's great. Let's go to edge mode by holding right click, double click this edge. Double click these guys, hold spacebar again. Let's go, just like it's under edit mesh, bridge. Let's say we wanted to dive into multi-cut a little bit, hold spacebar, let's go to mesh tools, and then multi-cut, it's right there. So we can do our multi-cut. While it takes a little bit of time to get used to this, hotbox controls are super, super powerful. And if I ever want to turn everything else back on, go to hotbox controls, show all, and now everything is available.